welcome back. So a Pacific Northwest staple is now offering afternoon tea. The experience features sweet and savory treats as well, which has me so excited. And joining me to chat about this, Jennifer Shea, the CEO and founder of Trophy Cupcakes. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. So good to have you. I have to say this is the prettiest spread oh, ever. Thank you. I love a little cotton candy, especially with the sparkle. Yes. Um, and you've got so many fun tea options, so kind of walk us through those. Yeah, so we have a whole array of hand-blended teas. Uh, I brought a blueberry hibiscus today, and then also our most popular is the color-changing garden party tea. This one has chamomile, rose petals, and then it has the butterfly pea flowers, which are the magic flower. And it starts out this beautiful blue color, and then I'll have you squeeze the lemon into oh. that. Oh, so the lemon makes it change colors? Yeah, so the, the that flower reacts. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's turning purple. Oh <laughs> my gosh, can you guys see this? Look at that. It's it so started funny. blue and now it's purple. That is wild. We like little magic details. So that's what makes our tea a little different. Oh my uh, gosh. And it's chamomile, so yeah. I'm going to take a little taste of this. A little bit dripping, mm, but mm. fine. That's just typical for me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So it's the cute? pea flower that makes it change color when it yes. hits like the citrus from Yeah, there. and a lot of different bakers and chefs use that flower to make things blue or purple, and it's just a fun ingredient to use. That is yeah. so cool. It's so fun, too. I feel like, I mean, little kids would get really excited about that. I feel and like adults as well. <laughs> women are getting the most excited about that. Um, great. And then what else do you have? Uh, we also also do a signature mocktail which we okay. call our pink disco ball because our seating okay. area has pink disco balls all over the ceiling yeah. and so this is a rose lemonade that we do lots of glitter oops I'm spilling too <laughs> that's okay and then <laughs> you're at my table it's all good. <laughs> yeah hopefully my shaker doesn't spill all over the place um, but it's a rose it is rose lemonade raspberries glitter rose petal it's very delicious and again little Kids love this one. They yeah. feel very fancy with their glass. Um, but grown, grown so people cute. love it too. Is that powdered sugar in there as well? It's edible glitter. Edible yeah, glitter. Yeah, so you stir oh it around gosh. a little bit oh. and you'll see the shimmer. I'm going to try this one. Thing. Oh, that's so yummy. Isn't that good? Yeah, I like how it's a subtle rose flavor. Mm -hmm. A little aroma in there yeah. too. Oh. So good. You have to be careful with the floral flavors because I'm sure you've heard people say, like, oh, it tastes like soap. Oh, as long you do as, too much? As long as you are subtle, uh, florals, I think, are really delicious. Okay, that's yeah. a good tip. Sounds like truffle oil, where if you put, like, too exactly. much truffle oil, you're like, okay, it's yes, too much. Exactly. Too much here. Okay, exactly. that's a hot tip right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm also seeing some food. This is, like, my favorite part about high tea is just sitting, having tea, and then having some little snacks. So talk yes. about some of the food you have. Yeah, so we really wanted our tea tower to embody kind of what Trophy is about, and yeah. that's just more magic and fun and just really having a great time. Uh, of course, you'll see uh, little mini cupcakes on the top. Yes. There's little um, finger sandwiches that are actually cake filled with buttercream. Uh, so we thought that was kind of fun. Uh, there's bejeweled scones that come with a passion fruit curd and chantilly oh my gosh, that are so that. yummy. Uh, a little parfait with lime curd and chantilly cream and some graham cracker. Of course, our macarons, which are amazing. Yeah. And then on the savory level, on the bottom, we have a pink finger sandwich, and that's with guava bread, cucumber, dill cream cheese. So delicious. Guava bread. Tell yes. me more about that while I try it. It's actually from Hawaii, and a lot of us at the bakery mm. are obsessed with this. Mm. Um, and it really just is like a soft, um, I don't know, it's just like mm -hmm. a Hawaiian sweet bread. I but love it, that. Yeah. Does it, the guava make it this color? Or you it does. Me? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wish that all bread was guava bread because I want to eat pink, all, pink sandwiches yeah, now. <laughs> all of our, our sandwiches should be pink. Mm. And then there's little croque monsieur croissants and salmon rosettes and oh. some little custard tarts. There's a savory eclair with our curry chicken salad in it that's so yummy. Um, Such so a good yeah. mix. And yeah. then I'm seeing some little, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's these little like glitter stars in this cotton candy. Can you eat that? Yes. So edible glitter. That's a rose cotton candy. Mm. And it just kind of tops the whole thing off and is really the wow factor when we bring that to the table. Oh my gosh. So fun. I love that so much. I've never been to a high tea with cotton candy, but sign me up. Our movie theater in the town I grew up in sold cotton candy. And oh, I, I like it. believe that every movie theater I go to, I'm like, do they have cotton? 
cotton candy there? Not a common thing. So you got to come to high yeah. tea and get your cute glitter uh, cotton candy. I love that. Yeah. What kind of groups do you think this is perfect for? We have had a lot of uh, girlfriends doing it for just like a sweet afternoon friends, you know, get together. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of people. I mean, of course, Mother's Day was packed. Uh, yeah. And a lot of people are booking it, doing private bookings for uh, bridal showers and baby showers. Oh. So booking out our whole section and just having all their friends come and celebrate that. That's such so that's a good really idea. Fun. That yes. makes me want to have a party there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm vegetarian, so you have some veggie options too. You can get like a whole veggie yeah. tower, is that right? Yep. So when you make your reservation on Open Table, which mm -hmm. the link is on our Instagram and our website, uh, you can choose whether you'd like classic or vegetarian. Oh, perfect. So right now those are our two. That's awesome yeah. and then i hear you also have something called theme teas happening in july tell me yes. about that yes we're all very excited for the release of the barbie movie yes and so we're doing a barbie themed tea starting the weekend that the movie opens oh my god so those tickets um those reservations are on sale on friday okay that so friday amazing. morning make sure you have your alarm set and Ugh. go to go to our site site and See the, see, you know, I think if you came to tea, then went to the movie, yeah. it would just be the best day. I love that. Right? Most magical There's going to be an Instagram booth that's a Barbie life-size box to mm -hmm. take photos. Uh, we're going to send everybody away with pink Barbie popcorn, so oh. you can have that at the movie. It's gonna You're be doing really it fun. right. This yeah. is so much fun. I love this so much, Jennifer. Thank you for coming in here and Thanks showing us all this. Me. My pleasure. <laughs> Color-changing tea. Uh, we posted more info on Trophy Cupcakes afternoon tea up on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.